U.S. successes in North Korea launches a constitute to use of new ICBM system. This picture taken on January 19, 2022 and released from North Korea's official Korean Central News Agency on January 20 shows North Korean leader Kim Jong-un Center attending a sixth political bureau meeting of the 8th Central Committee at the office building of the party Central Committee in Pyongyang. CNN, the United States has assessed that North Korea tested a new intercontinental ballistic missile system in two of its recent launches, which American officials say is a serious escalation by Pyongyang. The two ballistic missile tests were conducted on February 26th and March 4th. They were not intended to demonstrate ICBM range or capability, but are likely evaluate this new system before conducting a test of full range in the future, potentially disguised as a space launch. Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby said in a statement on Thursday. The new system the U.S. officials have noted was first unveiled during the Korean Workers' Party parade in October 2020 and again at the defense exhibition in October 2021. The United States strongly condemns these launches, which are brazen violation of multiple United Nations Security Council resolutions needlessly raise tensions and risk destabilizing the security situation in the region, Kirby said. Kirby also underscored that the United States is revealing this information publicly and sharing it with other allies and partners because we believe that the international community must speak in the united voice to oppose the further development and the proliferation of such weapons by the DPRK. On a call with the reporters earlier Thursday, a U.S. official said the assessment on the missile system was made in coordination with South Korea and Japan and the United U.S. has shared details with other allies and partners, including the United Nations. They also said President Joe Biden remains open to meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The U.S. in the Pacific Command announced Wednesday that the U.S. is intensifying intelligence readiness, readiness and surveillance collection activities related to North Korea following the recent missile launches. The move is a signal from the Biden administration that it needs to strengthen its military posture to ensure the U.S. and allies in the region like South Korea and Japan are protected against North Korea's missile test. The command said they have ordered intensified intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance collection activities in the Yellow Sea as well as enhanced Readiness, readiness among our ballistic missile defense forces in the region. Press by CNN, the U.S. official on Thursday declines to elaborate on those enhanced readiness measures. On Friday, the Ver Department of Treasury is expected to announce the new actions to help the prevent the DPRK from accessing foreign items and the technology that in enable to enable into advanced prohibit prohibited weapons programs, the officer said, adding that there will be a range of further actions in the coming days, though the Biden administration has publicly condemned the test. They have not made any public changes to force readiness or posture in the region until now. The U.S. has acknowledged that the tests have occurred in past instance, instances, but as recently as as recently as February, the U.S. said the tests were not a threat. This story has been updated with additional information. CNN's Ellie Kaufman and Barbara Starr contributed to this report.